up guys? Uh, I cannot believe how orange it is outside right now. Like, I don't know if it's like color correcting or what on the video, but it's like legit orange outside. Well guys, I have had an incredible day. Uh, today, I bought PAX East tickets. <laughs> I cannot believe that I'm gonna go to PAX East. That's insane. That's absolutely nuts. I'm so excited. I'm so excited. So they went on sale at like one o'clock Eastern and uh, it was it was bonkers, dude. It was completely insane. Like everybody just started going crazy on my Skype chats and all that kind of stuff. And so a bunch of us time shotters kind of pulled together and just bought a bunch of tickets and uh, we're kind of like uh, handing them out and, and paying each other back and all that kind of stuff. So huge thank you to Fabe um, for <clears throat> for hooking me up. He got me and my wife uh, two weekend passes, three day passes, which is awesome. I cannot believe that it's actually gonna happen. I've never been to a convention before. I am like super excited. I feel like I'm going to Disneyland. Like I've never done this before and I can't believe that it's actually happening and that I have, I have purchased, I, I own tickets now to this event. Me and my wife and Lofty and Anasia are all getting a B&B, &B, an Airbnb, and uh, we're gonna stay in Boston. And then uh, all the time shotters, pretty much all the time shotters are going. Like a lot of them are going, and I'm gonna get to meet a lot of them, which is crazy. Uh, I cannot believe that this is actually happening. It's gonna be so weird to see like Lofty and Anasia in person and just like touch their faces. <laughs> and then and then they'll slap me and tell me to stop touching their faces. Speaking of Lofty, uh, I wanted to play for you guys a little video I recorded about a week ago when Lofty sent me and my wife a care package with like little treats and fun things. So he sent me that. Uh, I recorded it, uh, opening it and showing the camera and you guys what's going on. So check this out and then I'll be right back. I got a package from Laufty. Check it out. He sent me something uh, that apparently arrived like four days ago, but we didn't get a, a notification for it until today to pick it up from our office. And then um, on top of that, there's supposedly spoilable, perishable food items in here. So it's very well done. Very well. This is how I lost my intestines. There we go. <laughs> okay. To Fultron, Wifetron, and Suntron, thank you so much for the cookies. They were insanely good. We wanted to return your gift with a gift basket of our own. We even sent something that wasn't vegan. <gasps> we hope you still enjoy it. Winky guy face. Thanks for being such kind and truly great humans. Cannot wait to chill real hard when you guys come up for packs. Much love for me and Vera. And there's a kitty kid. Here's a picture of him and his Goyle friend. We got Massachusetts Pure Maple Syrup. Grade A, amber color, rich taste, half pint. <laughs> Could have used that one <laughs> like two days maple ago syrup? when I wanted Wait, waffles. What do you need maple syrup for? I wanted waffles and we didn't have syrup. Okay. Little did I know it was sitting at the office downstairs, so. This is Tofurky Slow Roasted Chicken Sesame Garlic Pasta. Yeah. That's a cookie. There's a cookie in there. <laughs> cookie inside a box. <laughs> I'm all cool. Oh no, it's cookie. Delicious. Oh my gosh, this is getting insane. Bedrock Tree Farm Soy Candle. Ooh, yay. Vegan candles. Those are the best, honestly. Okay. For real. Wow. That makes Wife Tron happy. She likes candles. Oh my gosh, are they like secretly Mennonite or something? They're so sweet. Apple butter. Yeah. Oh, good lord. They know us Southerners. Mm. 
These are, I think they were at one point, cider donuts. Oh my gosh. Yeah, they'll still taste good even they, if they're crushed. Yep, I will eat them all. Here we go. Dandies, air puffed marshmallows, classic vanilla flavor, vegan, gluten free, gelatin free marshmallows. Oh my gosh. Pure maple candy. Wow. It's like maple candy things. I don't even know, but it looks delicious. Yeah. Sugar oh my Woods goodness. Farm. Thank you so much, Lofty and Vera. You guys are amazing. I'm looking forward to pack so much. It's got the bubble wrap. Part. Popping bubble wrap. <laughs> Best part. I'm just gonna tell you guys right now, those donuts were redonkulous, as were the marshmallows. Um, those marshmallows are incredible. They taste like legit marshmallows, and they're not. They are not. They are vegan, uh, vegan, uh, non um, uh, gluten free. They're gluten free marshmallows and they taste delicious they also sent me that cookie that cookie was delicious oh my god that cookie i've been eating the apple butter for breakfast i've, I've had the syrup it's all incredible it's so good and i thank you guys so much thank you to lofty and vera for sending me and my wife that care package it was incredible on another note, my beard is still long, my hair is still long, and my wife has officially voiced her dislike of these situations. <laughs> my wife is a very nice person, and she will just, you know, I'll, there's been multiple times where she's been, you know, very supportive of me in my choices with my hair, and uh, she has reached the point at which she says no. Which is, that's a, I've gone, I've taken it pretty far. Um, but I have a good cause because my grandma, who is one of the uh, most wonderful people on the face of the planet, and she will kick your butt if you say anything mean about me. So all you trolls in the comments, if she ever finds out where you live, you better sleep with one eye open. Um, my grandma is amazing. She's the sweetest lady on the face of the planet. She adores, we, we just can't even with my curls. I mean, she is just like, oh, if she, if she could just have a picture of my hair in curls, she'd be happy. She'd never have to see me again. She loves my curls. And so I told her that I was growing my hair out and she was just so happy, so excited. So I can't cut it until after Christmas, until after I've left California and come back to Nashville. So um, I told my wife, I was like, I can't cut my hair can't do that and I'm not shaving the beard until after November so um, I'm also a little afraid of what's going on underneath here because I've gained a little weight I really need to get in shape again okay but that's it I just wanted to share with you guys that video tell you that I'm going to PAX East I hope you're going to I can't wait to see you guys if you are and I would love to see your beautiful faces and even if your faces are beautiful I still want to see them and I want to meet you and shake your hand and high-five you and take pictures with you guys because I think you're all awesome um, so, uh, hopefully you'll be there. Love you guys. Have a great weekend. I will see you guys next time on Fultron in Nashville. Fultron out.